go. Ding, 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 ding. Go. Ding, ding, ding. The sounding noise. Oh. Since we don't have a song, yeah. The dork You're table. Sick, man. You're sick. Yeah, I know. But this is still the dork table at thereallibertymedia.com. Hey, Vinny. Hello, Flasheroo. What's up today with you in dork, vein, dork, dork land? <laughs> Happy birthday out to uh, across the waves to those folks that were just, uh, born uh, on this. Yeah, my mother-in-law. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday. They're, they're mm-hmm. here having a little barbecue thing, making some burgers out in the sunshine. It's a pretty day out. Yeah, I know. I tried about half of it, and then it came in for the other half. Because I wanted to do a dark table and pontificate about stuff. Stuff. And happy 420, everybody. Yeah, very much. I am a lighten up for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, today's birthdays and Hitler's birthday and 420's birthday and everybody's fucking birthday. Happy birthday to all you 420ers out there. I think I'm, my microphone is having problems because I hear it pick up and then die off in the in my headphones so i might have to replace this Uh oh my my jew bone just got hard i have to spend money Uh uh-oh red alert red alert scratchy sound you know i was listening to my broadcast from yesterday and uh there's a definite bad background oh you know i was listening to to grammys and grammy did the thing that you posted about the uh frangies (laughs) The, yeah. the rules of acquisition, and she read them on her show. They cracked her up so much. So, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was it was a giggle yeah. to to see her <laughs> interacting with us like that. Use some of the crazy shit you put up for a a thing to talk about. I think you posted it over at the uh, realliberty.org dot org site. The social oh, I media. have no idea. I just do stuff. I, I'm. I'm not in this like you guys are, like, uh, for all that attention. Oh, I'm on this site, and I'm on that site, and Facebook, and Twitter. I dodge all that stuff and just got 20 or 40 people that listen to the radio shit I do. Sometimes it's more than that, but I'm just saying, you know, like on a weekly. But it's a lot of fun for me to do this. Sure, and... uh... It allows for communication. Yeah, and then we learned and got better equipment since we started. Didn't have a clue what I was doing when I started all this stuff. But now, Grimm's helped me along to where I can do it solo. Solo? Is, yeah. <laughs> not, not so much on the Linux, though, because the, uh, the filing system is just a little bit more complicated to me than it is to somebody that's real good with a computer. I'm, yeah, I can push a button if you tell me what it's for. And then after that, I lose interest and want to go play on my puzzle. Yeah, my, my little friend, I forgot. I mm. found that. Happy 420. Yeah, very much a happy 420 to all you wacky happy 420ers. But today's program is called I'm Not Sick, You're Sick. Yeah. Uh-uh. And I thought if I was going to do a show about that, I'd want to do it with my pal Vincenzo. Oh, I'm so glad you think of me when you think of sick. Well, you you painted that painting, so I'm just looking at it, responding how I'm supposed to, you know. The Van Gogh? It's not, ro- it's not rocket science, actually. Uh, just some people are more rural than other people are. You know, you get my drip there, mister, or do I have to paint a big red sign for you? I heard a little Danish in the background. Yeah, we're entertaining over here in in uh, Freddy Town tonight. Hold on. He's uh, holding on. Hello, everybody in chat. <laughs> Let's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, give a, a big how to do as I'm packing up. The, it is a 420 celebration uh, worldwide. That's right. In appreciation of the cannabis plant. Remember, cannabis. And I I told my nephew-in-law, said, hey, they, 
they can hear you on the microphone. <laughs> so, I don't really care. This is so relaxed, man. I, I was not, I was not criticizing. No, I know I, that. I was just letting him know because he's talking to his girlfriend or something over there on the chair, on the couch. He's doing it on the phone, you know, on the phone, but on the radio. <laughs> him over to the to the microphone Let him no 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 he's he's over Danish. there with Cirque. no they're, uh, they're not gonna do that um, oh. hey you want to say hello to the uh, bots and, and the, the bodies? bodies oh yeah. yeah you you want me on this one this week huh well hey grimner thanks a lot for putting us out there into the electronic I can't say it. The electronic world out wherever people pick up the show. Because more people pick up the show than there are on RLM. So we got somebody listening to the, the opinions that we carry as a group. Because you never know who I'm going to do radio with either. Well, sometimes you think you know, but I'll surprise you. And uh, thanks a lot, Grim. So we got... Barman, Grimner, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, Brackets, DC, Anti, Asmo, Beth Z, Chalcedony, Echelon, Free Enslaved, I Be Don, C, Java Doctor, Underscore, Two, J, Dread, Meister, Brow, Ponder, Gander, A, Vinny, Rain, the Bubbler, Rob Works, Romes, Vanna White, Weather, Dork. That was unexpected. <laughs> I think I don't. Th I think we're supposed to be like uh, notice that we got recognized because he put the weather thing up as a weather dork. <laughs> it, people depend on that weather dork for their weather news. So if you think about it in the right light, we got quite the compliment from that bot. And uh, what else we got going on here? Okay, Phantom. And well then, Beetle. That's my, hey, that's my friend Miguel. Hello, yeah, Miguel. Now, that's Salt Lake City Mike. Yeah. And we got Beetle. Yeah, I'm always arguing with him about something. Just gives him something to do. Uh, Kofax 101, Cyborg Noodle, Dakota. D, Dork Cakes, hey, Mental. Uh, okay. Oh, I see him. I see him on the box, but I don't see him saying anything in the chat. Anyway, we'll catch up. We got Frumpy Frumpy 3, Gooberzilla, Gromit, Jays, Nines, Jays, Kozu, Carl underscore Marks, the bot from hell, Ponsas, Sack Puppet, Salamo, Van Meter, Vanna V. Vite. And Vinicus. Well, I'm a bad still. Oh, knowing. you made a W with two V's like some kind of weirdo. As the decoy duck, baby. Vanna Von White. Hey, did you see that link Kate put up about the duck? The big cat was chasing the duck. I mean, like a t lion-sized cat. Oh, it was in the I water. Did. That was pretty awesome. And yeah, the and the duck dives under the water yeah. and it yeah, I was a tiger, and he's all like, "What?" Confused it. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, yeah, but I thought you hate the ducks. Okay. <laughs> Stay high. Wait. Stay high. Come on, is... come on, stop. No, they're in Den in Denmark. Oh. Yeah, como estás <laughs> today? <laughs> yeah. Why would you be speaking Spanish in Denmark Daughter anyway? Come? Uh, uh, I don't need to order tacos. Uh, flour? Right up there. Anyway. Here, look. There's flour. You want to make biscuits? Uh, anyway, so did I read through these crazy uh, old names? Those are the bots and the bodies in the RealLibertyMedia.com uh, chat for uh, your writing entertainment uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. And uh, Vinny's having a complete conversation with somebody else while I'm explaining all that stuff. So enjoy the dork table today. <laughs> we aim to please. I think the but make sure you I'll come up later for. I'll have them for lunch for leftovers. You need uh, butter or anything? Mm. Uh, He's doing his grocery store stop. Grocery store. Grocery right. store shopping live on the radio today. Whoa, uh, Rob works. 
Uh, oh, God. Well, dear. Oh. Huh? Hello. Hello. Where? What, what the fuck? I told you I'm not sick. You're sick. I, You're I sick. knew it. I knew it. Now you've proved it. Now what are you going to do? I don't know. Ah, okay. Well, what's your take on this whole I'm not sick, you're sick thing? Hi, Chloe. I'm, yeah, I am sick. Uh, we're all sick. We are? Yeah, we, in many different ways. Me too? Yeah. Every, absolutely. I don't want to be a part of your evil prison gang. Fuck you. What? Uh, what is... <laughs> Uh, if you put S I C in bracket, that's uh, that's something that I was looking at. And oh, the well. use of uh, you know understanding the language, communication, yeah. and being able to write it, um, and having a, yeah. an obligation. So, you know. well, I've drawn the line at taking it too seriously, and there you go. Life is too short to spend it all worked up in a big frothy fucking foam. When what you kind be, of stick are uh, I'll give you an example. Okay? Me and my sister-in-law were talking about Notre Dame just burnt down. And the nephew and what, anyway, whoever was out there. And, <laughs> uh, and it, well, it turned into, uh, I, I lost my train of thought. But we were talking about Notre Dame burning and here we are oh yeah we, we were saying is uh if a nuclear bomb takes us out me and you're sitting on me and cirque's nuclear bomb taking us out patio because this is where we're gonna be when it goes sit here and catch a nice view of the never-ending sunset <laughs> yeah because that's how seriously that I think both of us take it. You know, if it happens, you're not going to know. If you do know, well, then I ain't got that far yet. I'm still where I'm at. <laughs> so, okay. We'll see. Well, I've, I've been still hearing, not what you know, Because huh? there's so much that we don't know. Let's yeah. say, let's look at it like this. If, if there was everything that there is to know, if you could know that, and just consider how much information that was. Even just the information that's like transmitted through all the lines in the in a city. You know, well, oh, oh, do you do you eliminate oh, all? <coughs> excuse me. Do you eliminate all the bullshit first, or do you include the bullshit in everything you know? Yeah, you. If you go in there, if you just go in there and collecting it, and you just digging around and all the crap, right? Trying to find a an acre you know a pig will root and crap and he'll come up even a pig will find a, an acre and a blind pig will find an acre and at times it's said right mm -hmm. so really want to root around a, a lot of crap to to find a nugget in a, a nugget of corn or an acre uh -huh. <laughs> and how does, how does that compare to me no why this is not you i never talk about you i talk about in general oh, so when i no, i talk you, about you, you well, you can talk about me. No, well, I'm socially I, awkward. I'm a dork. I do those kind of things. It's okay. I'm here to help. <laughs> okay, Vinny, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rob works if you're out there. <laughs> Type uh, one yeah. for yes and two for no. <laughs> hey, mental. <laughs> uh, how does this make you feel? Oh, I... I muted myself because I interrupted you with that nonsense. I was oh, trying to be nice I, back. Because <laughs> mental showed up. I like saying hate a mental. I love cakes. I so, really do. There you go. That's why I'd like to meet one day and face to face. Yeah, actually, uh, very I, clever I have, man too. You know. Through the, the amazing networking abilities of, of actual video face to face. I saw him when he was at your house. Yeah, yeah. well you know, the weird thing is I met him at World Truth, right? And at World Truth, the, program ha the programmer had set up a really nice internet site for us to enjoy, okay? My hat's off to his, his ability to do his work was up to par and probably beyond. And he had a chat room that had video or just audio 
so you could go in and if you were, you know, because people were still kind of nervous about meeting each other at that time. And I'd go in there and shit, I'd put my, I didn't give a fuck, put the camera on, not put it on, matter to me, talk to you, not talk to you. And uh, that's how I met Mental. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, not really exciting or anything. It's just, um, I don't put up all those barriers other people put up about being private, you know, because a lot of people hold their privacy and they, they really think it's important. And I think you got to work so hard in the world to get it paid attention to that we're all invisible. <laughs> you know, unless you set yourself on fire or, you know, wear half your clothes and expose the good bits, people ain't going to notice you. If you rip your clothes off and go running naked through the streets. Oh, then, yeah, man, I'm looking. I don't care. I just got to see what it's going on. I'm human. No. I'm going to look. But for the most, you know, this boring shit that we do, mundane society, being all just peaceful and calm instead of crazy and chaotic. Well, you know, that's a there's another type of sickness, you know, is the uh, inside that uh, that one fights. You know, we've heard the story about the uh, the two wolves inside, and uh, it, what wins is the one you eat. Well, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I think what has the attention of a human being is what matters. And that's what I've worked it all down to. You know, they get us through games and movies and some kind of outside electronic-based entertainment form. And you do that. Yeah. Well, that it guides you. That. guides your thinking. You know, whether you can trace that back to is uh, the carrot on the end of the stick mm. dangled out in front of the donkey. Well, you know, it was Mary was on her show the other night talking about a younger woman, younger than her daughter's younger, being uh, up to par on speaking about something that was true. And the, the young girl wasn't shocked by it. She already knew it. So Mary's saying, eh, there's some of these kids that are they're not as lame as the ones they're showing you. You don't think? Well, no, I don't. Look at the collection of people at the uh, Real Liberty Media. I mean, whether we get along or not, for the most part, they're not dumbasses. I mean, I wouldn't say anybody on the Real Liberty Media, even if I don't get along with them, I wouldn't say they're stupid. You're on the fucking internet. You're doing something, you know? You know what, what Hans? Oh, over what? here, huh? he says... He's here because it irritates people that do not think. Oh, he said, is that what he makes? It is? It. Yeah. Uh -huh. says, okay. Well, whatever it's makes a new this... experience for them, and that we should think. Wow. Now this hey, say thank you. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Say please. No, I don't want to do that either. Come on. No. I'm not compromising with this guy under any terms, circumstances. You got no nah. compromise, no surrender, no, no retreat, no, no sir, Zero. no sir. That's right. You know you're gonna if you're gonna make a stand in life, make a freaking stand and stand by it, even if it's wrong. If you believe it, that then it's your thing. So this is my thing. Stand by you. But see, you you're different completely than a. Anybody on the internet that I've met beside you. Why? Because you're totally insane. You go really? do whatever the fuck you feel like doing when you want to do it. And I, I got married it. a few years ago, so I, I gave all that freedom up, Vinny. There was a day where I could just pick up and move and whim. Now, oh, I got a wife to talk to about it. I should oil my chair, huh? Mm -hmm. I just use some... Um, Cooking oil, butter, I don't I know, oil. pee on I it. it. <laughs> You're a redneck, right? <laughs> and well, then says in the chat, <laughs> so why is Hans here? Who knows? He is, Who cares? He, no, he's here to entertain. Uh, ir, inter, how would you mix? Let's squash this word entertain and irritate. Oh, uh, to 
Oh. Inter hmm. Intertate. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you if you use the hemp suppositories, you can cure yourself of a bad case of hands. <laughs> How do you get it in there? <laughs> well, it's not. Nah, he's just there to remind us of how correct we are about our collective thought, which is, fuck you. <laughs> I don't need anybody in the world to tell me hey, what to do stop, ever. Stop ever. The rest, right stop now. The rest. Shut up. Now. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Get Rob. I up. will comply with your terrorist. Fire up the demands. bubbler. I'm firing. Hold on. I'm surrendering to the Vincenzo on the la live radio like a dork. Uh oh. Because he wants the 420 on 420 at 420. We did it. I just barely made it too. Had that thing what did, just what before did Bush say? What did Bush say after Operation? Mission accomplished <laughs> with his greasy freaking oil based fucking spine all over it. What a nasty. You know that prick? Wait, was his father or was it George, the younger one that was the CIA? No, it was his dad. The nasty one was the CIA guy. Walker. But yeah, but could you see George W being an operative? It would have been like me trying to be a spy, you know, like me doing different. James Bond or some shit exactly. like that. That's what I was gonna say it'd be the same thing. The difference between James Bond and the real James Bond. Tell him, Hannah. Tell him the real James Bond, Sean Connery. Sorry That's about right. That. Yeah. Uh, oh. Not that Franker. What's his name? Yeah, but uh, no, the real James Bond came out of a book. Okay, and the real original James Bond. Drank ten high and smoked camel cigarettes, and they polished him up for television and movies, because that's what that's what all this electronic shit does, man. It changes shit and it makes it something else, and the person looking on never gives thought to how did that happen. They took the how did that happen out of the population. The population wants instant, not how did that happen. <laughs> you got it, Ryder. Did you see uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? <laughs> I like think that? so, yeah. yeah. Terrible. With W. W, he was in the movie. <laughs> talking out with him. My daddy don't understand me. <laughs> oh, well. My, my dad understood me just fine. He just didn't like what I did, so... How does that make? You feel? Hmm? Yes, and how does that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anything. It's just yeah. the way it was. You know, I was talking about this on on um, the other show I did Thursday. Is the ability to shut your feelings off about a situation happening doesn't seem to be a common denominator. A lot of people can't do it. They they got their thinking and their feelings are fused together. They work together. Mine works separate of each other. So if I well, want to do one and not the other, I can. Cirque can't do it. Cirque's all yeah. emotional and lovey-dovey and all like that. Chloe said Sean, of course, was the best, but Daniel was the most handsome. Who? Daniel... <laughs> Okay, so fine. Fuck, Vinny. <laughs> wow. Hey, Grimner. Hey, Grimner posted up. Grammy's Rocket Cheer podcast. Last off, baby. Yeah, from 19th. Uh, I get a kick out of listening to Miss Mary. You I've listened open. to Mary for years and years. What just, what what? just happened? What do you mean? I, am I still here? Yeah, you're what still the? here. What, you what? can't hear me? Test. I hear. Dang. I don't know what I did, but. I don't know either. Up on my computer, and it's like. Loo, 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 had a oh, is that what that was? I was bait. just like, commenting on. I like other people on the Real Liberty Media's programs. And I'm waiting for the um, Freakers Ball. I usually catch it on Monday. Well, that was. Uh, Quit moving. I gotta go see. 
stuff. I don't know what just happened. Here's the first. Uh, uh, I don't Sean. know. When I say Sean. Dork Cakes is posting on our chat room page. Uh oh. Should I risk it and open and see what it is? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We're having a dork table on Saturday, the 2 0 of April, 2019. 420 to everybody out there in 420 land. By the way. Well, yeah, man. Can you imagine what the world would be like if people were just honest about what pot does instead of all this drama and mixing it with this? And fuck you. If you don't use it with anything else, you're about the most boring person in the room. Let's not lie about all that. Weed doesn't make you swing off of chandeliers. It makes you watch other people swing off chandeliers <laughs> and wonder why they're swinging off the chandelier. But not to do it. No. Crazy. We had yep. some messed up stories going on about us potheads when we we're really just kind of boring. <laughs> now, if you want excitement, give me a bottle of Jack Daniels and a 38. Now, I'll show you a fun time. Never mind. That was a joke. I was making a gun and alcohol joke, Vincent. Are you boycotting my jokes? No, there's no such thing as friendly fire. A gun <laughs> cannot leave a uh, <laughs> friendly fire. It pointed it at it. Yeah, it points it at somebody, and that's why. Right. Ah, you call fuck it your guns. You could call it collateral damage if you want. Uh, Mike shared that uh, link there. The first um, 007. John oh. D. Well, Elizabeth. the reason I was <clears throat> talking about that. 007 thing is I could never pass for a spy I have hair hair down in the middle of my back so people you would just instinctively out and you could get in a kennel and say rough rough no see I'm you're making a really bad joke I'm just saying I'm too short and long haired to convince anybody I was a spy so yeah, I'd probably the... be a really good fucking spy that's right the best yeah. uh, thing was to that the devil did. What was it? How's that go? Just Make you believe he didn't exist. So, I think you're a spy, Mister. Not yeah. like me. Yeah. Because uh, when I, you think when I listen, what? I'm ready to look at about this guy here that Mike shared. Said he was. Oh, uh, Mike shared something. Okay. He was the principal advisor to the most of uh, most of the Tudor uh, monarchs of England. Oh. So it, it goes uh, in, in through other parts of Europe. So it makes you wonder, you know, who who fund, funded this guy? And who was who was behind this idea that he could uh, go here? Oh, uh, he's got something about the real reasons for the Lewis and Clark expeditions, the expansion. Man, these people weren't fucking right. around with what they've done. Whew. Wow. World domination. So this guy... He obviously was out there as uh, part of the powers to act, you know, that are acting together. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have people to convey. They don't have the the information technology and stuff for the today where uh, they transmit. Well, well, look at when the uh, the transcontinental cable was laid down for the telephone line. What an amazing feat that was at the time. Before that, how long would it take to come up across the sea? So, you know, you have real-time engagement now. And we're all under uh, occupation worldwide, not just, uh, uh, you know, some of these uh, countries that, uh, you know, it's being portrayed there. We're there to free them while they're there. Huh. We're free, there. Free them. You made a joke at the dork table. <clears throat> Never mind. Well, there's a lot of links going on over here. I see that. Dork I cakes. Can't. Well, dork spams, though. He does it all at one time. That's the way the man rolls. He's always been like that. What? You got Mike's quiet a, there, Vinny. Am I alone at the dork table today? Huh? 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 <laughs> Are you? I'm not sick. You're sick. sick. Mike said you really should read that intro. I should read. I don't do what I'm fucking told by anybody. <laughs> Mike said, oh, <laughs> "Come on, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, you, 
Uh, hold on, listen now. Remember, I, when what? I say you, I don't mean you. Yeah. You, you I mean you collectively. You collectively. So, oh. I collect you. I don't yeah. collectively very I well, a, do I? I staff. I think my collectively has been broken. You should try harder. Well, I'm under contract to a Dane at the time. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. The illusion is real, I'm telling you, man. I'm in it. <laughs> sure. Freedom bombs for everyone. I'll be right back. Ala salamo. Yeah, cool. Anyway, <laughs> it, it maybe the Pinto or could have been. That's the one that blew up. That had the gasoline problem. Gasoline exploding cars. And uh, Salamo says it's a Fiero. Yeah, whoever, whatever. It's all the same crap any fucking way. The illusion of good quality work, craftsmanship, and good quality products died a long time ago. And these lion thieves, they replace anything that's decent with some synthetic or second that they can replace it with whatever the law will allow let's get my lawyer buddies to make the law allow this as an absolute minimum so that i can make more profit off my garbage that i sell <laughs> uh, it's a wonderful game come on put it in there on the rlm chat tell me i'm wrong <laughs> i dare you james hmm? hmm? bond actor James Bond. Thanks. That's uh, the guy's trying to think. Here's Bronson. He's the winker that Sean Connery was talking about. <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> See, I was fucking around. And well, then took me all serious. <laughs> Whoops. This is the door Here's table. The I was oh, fucking around. Good. Yeah, he's, he's good, Cloak. I'll read something. If people want me to read it, oh. I'll read it. I was just having fun. <laughs> Read my posts. Yeah, that my works. Mom. Oh, I don't know. It's all that. The, who's putting up what now? Nah, I'm not going to read posts. Vinny can, though. I can read your posts. <laughs> you can read their minds, too. Hey, how are you and Rob doing? Who? Rob Wirt? <laughs> you prick. Hey, got it. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I posted. Yeah. I posted he, he was trying to be. He was trying to be. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah, he was slapping me with the lark or something like that. Oh, ah, you don't get all serious about I'm this not, internet I'm stuff. Not, not a bit. Not a bit. Well, I've got him this room on him. I, That's right. No, I've thought about this deeply for many minutes, and I thought I'd share my vast wisdom with you about that particular topic. Okay, go ahead. Well, it goes like this. If it's not in the room that you're in, what the fuck does it matter? I don't give a shit. Somebody's opinion about something. Who cares? I got my own crap to think about. I can't think of your crap, too. <laughs> I can think of many impossible craps all at one time well right and i mean not so much i don't multitask i like to do one thing at a time the old-fashioned way and slowly <laughs> i'm in no hurry to go anywhere and do shit anymore those days are fucking gone <laughs> you can have them but you don't do that either don't do what live in a city and some metropolis where the population is in the millions and you're surrounded by people for fucking ever. <laughs> like, uh, I remember Ooh. I hadn't gone back to Vegas after uh, being here in the hills for, uh, I forget, it was just a couple, two or three years. And so I go back and I swear in five minutes, I probably saw more people than I'd seen in them all together in the past two or three years. It was uh, pretty pretty neat, though. And I'm like sitting, I'm smiling, and looking at people, and it's like, they're everywhere. And, you know, each one of those individuals is a separate, their own separate life and world that goes so far. Out. And, you know, there's connections all throughout. You look at Real Liberty Media here and, and the people where we're 
uh, been connected over some several years and how uh, actually one of us of another know another personally and uh, oh yeah there there's a real yeah nose to nose beyond the electric in this group yeah people actually know each other there you go i know and that's and i think that there's other places like this that are this small now, it might be growing a little bit but they're you know they're pockets everywhere we've got a continual 420 celebration today folks uh, the 420 report from vincenzo that's right fun 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 it's just a shame that the things that are good for us are all illegal and the things that are bad for us are all legal. What? How, how the hell did that happen? Or banned. Know. It's either, you know, on some prohibition or banning or sanction. Uh, some financial punishment for it whatever it is so they write these crappy fucking laws to support that stupid shit and here we here we are people think that there's a reason to burn anything <laughs> tesla proved that you don't need to edison and westinghouse and all these other greedy fucks and the bankers behind them they found a way to get us all you can't tax free. <laughs> Figure it out. And then they got people convinced that without taxation, no, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, they don't ever pay any attention to the $21 trillion in debt. <laughs> it's a, this whole thing's a joke. Take it serious if you like to, but <laughs> why? They might put you in jail or what are they gonna do to us i mean that's if that's what it's all about i'm not playing that shit hello hello mm -hmm. i was making a a point about you know individual freedom there mr vincenzo i thought you had a might say something but you didn't <laughs> I'm not inspiring Vincent to participate at the Doric table this week. I don't know why. <laughs> He's probably I, reading something. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I'm over here doing things. See, uh, well, okay, I'll do it to solo. I was, over, I was going over to find something, but hey, Grammy Mary. <laughs> uh, RLM Radio on Twitter. Let's click that. There's the uh, the rocket chair. Podcast blast. Mm. Oh, me. Yeah, I I catch yep. Mary on Thursdays and Saturdays, and today's a Saturday. Unless she doesn't Thanks. do something, and that's what. <laughs> and like I the, forget. Uh, All the days Grammy, roll up like one day is like any other day. Yeah. Grammy liked the the tweet out from our, our ever faithful barman. Tweet uh, out. Oh, I don't do all that stuff. I know you're tagged in it, but uh, it says right there the dork table. Uh, yeah, now nah, I've given up my uh, my participation in the huge game. I don't care. Give a fuck for the huge game. Nice. I like the small game where people can at least tell the truth about something. <laughs> it's not a complete lie. I don't lie, Mister. I will tell you that right now. Well. Uh... If there's something that you've been convinced of that's not true, but you don't know that, Vinny, then Na you're not telling Na a lot. Wait a minute. I'm making a fucking point about how people think now, how I see this. Are you okay. saying me or somebody else? saying all of us. I'm talking talk I'm talking this is how I see that. this thing works, you bonehead. <laughs> but the wicked. Well, the way you see the word is different than other people it's like some people have a broad judgment of a certain concept it's not as tight knit as yours is like when uh chloe got in her little situation hey chloe out there in radio land uh that was hmm, that brought to you this question of what is real liberty if that's going to happen <laughs> so I, you know, and at the time, I just didn't want to be all 
picking sides on something that was just so obvious. <laughs> so I, I tried to stay neutral on it, and it was very difficult. It was so hard. I tried. It was very hard. Well, yeah, because you got to pick the side of censorship or real liberty. Well, there you go. But that doesn't change the reality of shit. We still got, you know, we've got these ideals we live with, and then we got reality. And when people do some things in some level of reality, it goes beyond a certain period. They end it. It's done. Do you like music? Sometimes. Why? Can uh, you hear my family I, I, laughing out on the patio? Just barely. I wish they'd laugh louder. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they're Is out anybody there. laughing? Mm. I can hear it over my headphones. Got to, I should close the door, but I'm not going to. Anyway, I still think I'm not sick. You're sick. Thank you. You, you know, sick. we're all in one sort of way, as I said. And then there's different types of sicknesses or not. I would assume so. Let me, I'm clicking something here. Clicks, there's a sickness to being the, the click, right? Sick click. Yeah, click bait and all that stuff. But here's a sick. Okay. <clears throat> I see in, in brackets. You know what that means? No. Some people thought the question here, it demonstrates. It means, uh, thus or such and uh, in writing it's used to say like if somebody was saying something and you were going to quote them and even though that it was maybe not dramatically correct you wanted to still their exact words so you would say uh sick s-i-c in bracket but it also there's the latin where does it come from and yeah. you find it throughout history and sick simper tyrannus that's what uh, john booth was supposed to have said when he jumped off the balcony after popping uh, a wave in the head. Um, but it's used in, in newspapers and all that. So um, remember spelling, he says. And, um, don't quote somebody. Put it in brackets and tell them how sick they really are. <laughs> Grim's calling me sick. You are sick, mister. Yeah, sick. that's the rumor, Ike. I've heard it all before. I like that song here. On the Which mean. One? Uh, I mean. I mean. Yes, I mean. Yeah. Why well, still? I just think you're. Uh, well, I was bringing that up because you define real liberty more dramatically than anybody else on the real liberty media dot com. Curious about it, Mister? It ain't no game. This is well, real life, you know. Okay, and, people, people but, can be on there in their little old chat uh, face on or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> black, I don't know what you call it. Anyways, uh, and you know, talk all this smack and never do nothing. You know, uh, you can be a just talking about that earlier. People want to keep their identity hidden, and that is very important in today's world. And I, I respect that greatly. Oh, so, yeah. But yeah. don't don't come on and don't come on and try to act like you're a mighty warrior when all you are is the characters in a Yeah, um, but a, to assume anybody recognizes you for anything based on something you type in a chat room is kinda crazy. Most of us don't live in the same town. <clears throat> you know what it <clears throat> know what I mean. Or not. I do. Happy 420. But see, you're you're real um, out in the public eye, so I know you from the internet, face wise. I mean, I've seen your picture through <laughs> all kinds of stuff, so I know who you are. Now, I'm me, out. My picture. I put a public face, and you know, when I did, I hung a piece of laminated piece of paper around my uh, around my neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said in the same in the same manner. I uh, support those people that wish to remain anonymous in their uh, their audits, their First Amendment audits, especially the you know the public officials that um, want to try yeah. to claim yeah. image. Yeah. When you're public, you're public. So I've 
put on a public face, so uh, I have no problem with. Uh, yeah, but you get out there and, and get involved in yeah. shit. Vinny, yeah. there's, a, there's a difference between having an opinion or doing a radio show than going out into the physical world and getting involved in a possible gun fucking fight. <laughs> That's a little different. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I think. I think because of the movies and the media over the years, we're all numbed down to not really get a grip on what that really was. That was huge. Yeah. That was big. That's a sickness. That, that Bundy thing was as big as Waco without the dead bodies, but it wasn't treated it properly been. by the media. It wasn't pushed around enough by the people that knew what it meant to to the new people that didn't know, so it got it kind of lost. But it's there; it's got let a following. You, let me give you an example of uh, okay. that could have happened when you were talking about the Bundy Ranch in Waco. <laughs> there, there's uh, certain similarities in being that, uh, and, and 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 you always got to demonize the the person, right? So, um, but we see that. So you, you see the like the Branch Davidians are called there. They're given this name, Branch Davidians, after uh, the the pseudo name uh, David Koresh. Uh, he came up out of a Seventh Day Adventist raisins, and uh, they separated. There was a big clash in that church. Actually, there was a split, and David Koresh um, and the people that followed him stayed. Now the, the other people that left, and they came back after the. Uh, the massacre there and the fire and uh, they took control then of that church and they've rebuilt stuff. But I went and visited them uh, down there uh, it, when there was still this, like they burned the place down and the, and the government came in with bulldozers and pushed it all up. They dumped it in dump trucks and hauled it away and buried it. All, all that, whatever evidence could have been retrieved in there. Certainly some forensic evidence could have, could have ha- been found. Um, but no, that was all hauled away just like, on 9-11 and the World Trade Center, you know, all that stuff hauled away. All that video that uh, and photos and uh, that one can see about the the, uh, the molten metals and all that, you know, that, that needs answered, uh, that it's all brushed over. But what happened at the Bundys, they were they were built up there. They, the government had a huge army and surveillance and, uh, I mean, they were... Uh, sights on them and waiting but i believe that what they wanted to do was keep enticing the bundies because their religion as uh uh lds latter-day saints mormons uh and then did them also being so isolated and coming from the family that had uh, populated this area since the 1800s way back when and there's kind of uh just like with the davidians there's a, a compartmentalization in a way, uh, in religiosity. Um, but they, f- they figured that all this big family that they'd get enough people together and gather up there and take a stand at the house and they could massacre up. I, I do not believe that this is uh, far beyond saying that they intended to kill the Bundys and as many folks as they could there and, and make them out to be the bad guy, you know, just like they killed those people in, in, uh, Waco. You know, men, women, and children murdered them, burned them on fire, and shot them when they ran out the back door. And they buried all the evidence. And that's that's the way the operation goes that we see here. So, uh, thankfully, there were hundreds of Americans that came from across the country, and even people from all parts of the uh, all corners of the globe out here. The, you find the funny in that um, <clears throat> to to make a stand, to stand in the gap and stop that. Now that the attack's not over, they're still. Uh, they're still coming for them for the Bundys and uh, other people that that took a stand and if they could make this appeal come through from the state on the dismiss with prejudice then there'll be a lot of superseding indictments to follow believe that and a lot of uh, unindicted co-conspirators as they're called will probably be uh, brought before the bar as well so it's very dangerous it's very sick 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 justice right but if there's more than you on this side of that situation that understand it from that legal perspective, then the easier it will be to fight. Certainly got to understand it. Cause you, and you know what? I've got, okay. 
We've got this guy, Matt Shea. He's representative uh, of the state of Washington up in the uh, Spokane region. And um, who, who is it uh, putting out? The Guardian. Um, they they got some uh, messages, like a, a group chat message or something. And these people in there with pseudo names. And among them was uh, this Matt Shea. And then uh, he's known prior for having this manifesto of sorts released on uh, biblical war and uh, kill the unbeliever. Anyways, there's a long story to that. Too much to talk about. But anyway, so how do they get this information? They got somebody on the inside, and uh, I guess I don't know. I like to understand about that. But this war, this idea of war, this is also sick too. And anybody that that thinks that a civil war is going to be a good idea is um, sick. And a lack of understanding. Where where do you hear these things about a civil war being coming? This is uh, there's a deep undershadowing in. Um, and, and there's so many words that one might use to describe it. And if you go from the left, they'll call them white nationalists in a sense. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, there's a lot of words. And it's, they're not all inclusive. And there is the extremists uh, amongst that uh, titling of a certain people and ideology. Right. Um, to say that one is prejudiced or uh, uh, bigoted or. Um, so many other words, right? Maybe people just want to be left alone and maybe somebody doesn't want to live uh, amongst other certain ideologies. And then you, you know, you have a majority of population like that. It's like, uh, leave me alone. But then on the reverse, the, the irony of it is, is they want to tell others how they should have to live. All right. As far as uh, sexuality or, um, uh, abortion, which, you know, that to me is particularly uh, uh, not something that should be able to be debated as legality, but in law and uh, that of uh, oh, right. Hey, give me two minutes. I got to go do something real quick here. Run, run, run. So continue. Okay. I'll be back momentarily. So we have uh, this guy, Matt Shea, and this comes, oh, and also the article and the spokesman about. Uh, this uh, defending uh, biblical basis for war, the manifesto. Um, it's the spokesman's.com stories. Matt Shea takes credit criticism for document um, from the Guardian. It is uh, the Guardian.com world. Uh, Matt Shea, right wing messages, chat records. Um, <clears throat> so I, as I was reading, let me see what somebody said to me. Where yet? Get him, get him, Danny. All right, somebody said something. I don't see it. There it is, Frumpy. This is the moment. Is uh, I'll have to check that. Where's that? I'll open that, Frumpy, and uh, I'll stop it. Okay, fam. All right, Bund Bundy Ranch. Is from Off Grid Nation. This uh, we have. Uh, I think we have this at Real Liberty Media too on our YouTube channel. And that has thirty thousand views. It's uh, some of this video has been duplicated, and uh, I've shared some uh, as common. Uh, anyways, all right. Where was I? Back over here. Thanks, Frumpy. I'll check that out. Um, Matt Shea, Matt Shea up here. Um, that's from the Guardian that uh, they discussed uh, violent attacks and surveillance with right wingers. Yeah, I wish I'd have marked this exactly where I don't have to read this pretty long article. Uh, the name of uh, uh, these other participants in the chat record and some of the things they say, and, and that's what I was talking about guarding your words. So. They go on to say somewhere down in there that, you know, people just talk like uh, out of hand. And it doesn't mean that uh, it's like like saying, I'm going to kill you. You know, even if you were in a fight with somebody and you say, I'm going to kill you. Well, well today with uh, in the legality of words, you know, you could be uh, uh, taken into custody and charged with uh, terrorist threats and so forth. 
So these guys here are going by assumed names of Anthony Bosworth and uh, Jack you know, and talking about uh, infiltrating and using psyops on uh, well, left wing and Antifa. What I was trying to make a point of through all that was the only part of the formula that Bundy lacked was the gun violence. Had there been gun violence, the government could have turned it on them more successfully. Made the Bundys the bad guys. But it didn't work. It, They tried it, but it didn't, didn't seem to work out the way they expected it to. It's worked in uh, talking about the, the left-wing media. Um, now, first of all, I want to tell you this one from the uh, from the uh, from the Guardian. Hmm. If you read how it's written, uh, the author is is obviously very biased in um, using these assigned words and so forth that uh, causes segregation between people. Hmm. You know, it's, you know, we miss it because you know everybody wants nobody wants a tortoise to be dead, right? Why um, not? So maybe they're going to they eat it. They enact these endangered species acts, oh, and they, that, yeah, yeah, uh, they capture, capture the land, and then they kick people off and claim it's for the people, but we're in fact we're right. not. But Vincent, look at it like this: too, they're using the opinions of people that live crowded elbow to elbow in city life, <laughs> and they're giving them a little bit of information to make them back up a certain idea. Yeah. So it's really not a level playing field. It's not like these news information sources tell us the truth about anything. It's not, 99% of it is just a bunch of bullshit. And it's did all you the same my, story. huh? I was, you up? Uh, we're stepping on each other. You're shot. <laughs> did, did you listen to my broadcast yesterday? No. Uh, uh -huh. Yesterday, me, me and Cirque have been on vacation this week, so I took yesterday off. You should listen to I don't think I did a very good job of the, uh, you know, like in the movie when you got the, the scene transfer where I forget what they call that. Uh, anyway, so there's kind of, no. That. well, no, no, no. It's oh, where it, yeah, they yeah, the shift from one thing to another and it blends or it's real sharp, real quick. Maybe activity that so forth that one idea other but anyway so i'd strung all this together and and uh, mm. uh kind of had uh, really didn't do a good job of bringing it together with my own words in between but uh, uh still uh, i i liked it i read the three little pigs and wow uh, i'm proud of yeah. you did did you read it all by yourself or did your auntie hold your with, hand without pictures i did that <laughs> without pictures Okay, sicky. Hey, did yeah. did you uh, did you have stories read to you as a, as a kid? No, really, not that I remember. No, oh, no yeah. memory of anything. Nah, my parents were not clingy, holy kind of people. Know. It was every crazy. man for himself. If you can't do it for yourself, you useless piece of flesh. It's not my fault. <laughs> my mom would tell stories. She so. didn't read that. Well, she did read sometimes. But, uh, I was reading and writing before starting school. Yeah, yeah. That was my mom's way. She taught my brother, probably a little younger than me, because, you know, he always had the head start of whatever he could follow I was doing. He was right behind me. And some things he had to wait. He couldn't learn them as fit quickly as I did. And other things he was way better at than me. Just was kind of a balance. Tra la la. <laughs> I don't know. Did you ever, anyway, did you ever jump off the well, roof with the trying to fly? No, I was. I had brought up the Bundy thing, and before you, you just went off on a way off tangent about details, and I was going another way with it. And how, if the Fed had got the people there involved in gunfire, how differently it would be? And you said no, it wouldn't have. And I, well, I'm kind of stuck on that. I think the not violence part made a huge difference. It was harder to lie about it. Uh huh. But you said I w you disagreed with me when I brought that up. 
yeah, there was, uh, it was trying to be portrayed as uh, the people that came there as being violent. Okay, well, um, we need me talking about the same thing the same way so we both know what's going on here. And I don't think we're connecting on how I'm explaining my well, side I, of what I'm saying here. I, I think you may have misconstrued what it was I was disagreeing with. Okay, because I'm still saying the lack of violence with guns made that whole thing more believable because there was no, you know, nobody acted out. So it's looking at it as different. Uh, there's no because there's no victims to you can bl see with the Waco it ended in gunfire and death. So you can pick a side. Now here you got this standoff be between this family and the government and if the federal government didn't take a violent action to do what they were there to do then you know they they lost <laughs> that's, well, that's what the were. fed does man when let they can't, can't let me what? finish my version of looking on these pricks is when they can't talk to you they shoot you they were trying to do that that's where i right. said where I did, okay about yeah. there was no violence there was violence. They had snipers there. They had cut that people were held at gunpoint from, you know, and that these same snipers for the government claim that they were in fear of their life and they're ready to shoot. Now, the snipers uh, in fear. <laughs> There's yeah, a new one. Oh, dirty man. He was up there at the gate and they're on the megaphone telling that uh, people that they were be shot up there. Okay. But Vin, Vinny, but, calm down. Vinny, no, let me, let me explain difference. something to you here. That That's the point I'm trying to make is that we're the public's told one thing, but what really happened is something else. And the tell public you doesn't learn that. They keep falling for the lie. They keep kicking. Um, Lucy's going to hold the ball this time. <laughs> no, she ain't. Lucy is going to take that ball just like she's always done. Don't be a Charlie Brown. It's really easy. It's, it's easy. And I understand. You were there. You saw more blah, blah, blah. That's not still not where I was trying to go with it because you. Hmm. You said there was no violence. Well, I'm trying to say. All right. There was no dead what? death and fucking people all didn't right. get burned. In the, come on, Vinny. You know me better than that. You big there would have been. dork. This is not me telling you wrong. This is where I'm yeah. telling you this yeah. idea there was no Oh, violence. no, no. <laughs> it didn't come violence. to death, you bonehead. There, There's a huge difference in that. There's no why, victims. You know what? Part, part of my testimony yeah. would have been, I was on the witness list. Yeah. It was, we. what is the opposite of conspire? Pro, we prospired to uh, have safety. Uh, Ammon Bundy and I and uh, <laughs> had talked about speaking out the uh, infiltrators there, the provocateurs that were going to, um, you know, want to provoke violence because that's where it was going. I don't think for a minute there wasn't, uh, it was, it was touching. Anything could have sparked a shot. And but you know who crying, you were uh, crying out fucking loud. That's the fucking point I'm trying to make is everybody managed to look, you're, you're not listening to me. You're too busy telling me something, Vinny. Pay attention. This is pretty similar to what you're saying. Because there was uh, no uh, actual physical conflict that ended up in dead. That changed the way that people saw this because the government has killed everybody before that. So when you see the government stand down, then you got to know, wow, these fucking people, they beat the government. <laughs> the government walked away. Ain't over. That's what I said. I <clears throat> well, right. Hard. That's the illusion that the government's going to try to bring it back for a second time. Eh, be, eh. Cover bands are still cover bands. Sorry. I like it. Actually. Hmm. Musical. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'm comparing it to something that was kind of off the wall but you know the original is still way better than whatever you make from that <laughs> but it depends i guess it depends on the person's uh, perspective like i always say because i see this the same way you do in some ways and in other ways uh, i can't because i wasn't in it i can only assume 
and I'm limited. I'm not a violent fucking guy, so I'm not good with all that. You know, all well, that violent we're... shit just kind of skates right by me. I'm too little or something. I don't know. The world's been kind to me <laughs> in the long run. You know, I bear very few scars for living this many years. I got a lot. Of well, it it kind of taints my perspective on looking at this violent thing that you were involved in. And I'm just telling you that. I think it's as big as the one that went south. See, I was agreeing with you from the gate, but you're kind of defensive today, so I, I oh, let you rant. I, I but, misunderstand. I'm yeah, not that's just, all right. I, psh, that's I'm what the dork table's for. Have fun. Yeah, works itself. Yeah, but still, you wanted to talk about the thing about Bundy, so I gave you a doorway to do it. But what it was, yeah, and I, and I compared it. Yeah, See, boy. This, but you compared it in a way I can't look at with my experience. Operates, and, and that's what I was trying to explain. Mm -hmm. And how these people that uh, are having this idea that civil war is going to be a good thing, and, and you know, the, you can say something, um, and as I say, these words can be taken and captured against you, uh, and it's not a good thing. Hey, off the subject, there goes. The FedEx van, this guy, and, and it makes a lot of noise. And this guy has probably got a hundred thousand miles on it, you no know, telling a year or something. I see him everywhere. I've seen him in Little Rock and Church, Church Bay, and out here on my road. It's uh, one uh, actually, Maybe you should get matching tattoos. His, his kid goes to school with a, a friend of mine's kid, which is uh, it's pretty neat. How small the world is, that's what I'm talking about. And how we actually, yeah. All of their connections, and <clears throat> how how far do they reach and and uh, intertwine and interact? And then um, some people might call it a, an invasive species, like a weed or something like that. Try to pull it up uh, or plant poison. Hmm. Uh, what was that? I was listening to somebody talking about glyphosate is in everything. I think it was Mary. We're screwed as a collective, I'm telling you, because no matter how safe we think we are, we're not, because it's a collective. <laughs> These morons are experimenting on us. And who better than us is there to experiment on? I ask you that. Okay, apparently the, you don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I think I Vinny, Vinny ditched me to go take a leak. <laughs> ah, and Miss Kate's dog is nuzzling the controls. <laughs> yeah, I used to drive a car long ago. Don't drive no more. Gave it up. Went, nope, done with that shit. And luck being with me as it has so far I haven't needed to drive anything it's always somebody else to do it and and my uh, my desire to not drive doesn't <laughs> insult anyone here that helps me and Cirque because they got a car right <clears throat> yeah it's like well we all serve each other some you know in some way that only that person can do didn't Bob Dylan sing about that? Pretty much, but uh, you got to serve somebody, you know. There you go. I've spoken. Now I'm up there with the guys like Bob Dylan. Hi, I'm Bob Dylan, and you're not. <laughs> Throw them on the pyre. Okay, Grim, who are we throwing on the pyre? And and Weldon was all over me about reading something, and I don't fucking read what I'm told to read. Maybe you want to do it. Ask him what he wanted to read. Some list of something. I don't know. I what came here to do a dork table, and we never do anything the way we're told to here. Do we? Oh, well, maybe you do. I don't. I it's aim like to please, but my sight is bent. <laughs> I'm like the Carl... Of the RLM, except that we already got a Carl, but I was here first. Carl came after me. Yeah, Carl. 
Carl has. Mark. He's got a brain. He's smart, Michael. He's smart. You watch well, no. him. He's going to grow and be a fine young bot. I guarantee. I'm not paying any attention to him. Why? Because he insults your friend. <laughs> I find it amusing that he banters with my invisible friend on the RLM chat. It gives me reason to giggle. I didn't know he was a bot when he first came in. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a bot. Wow, you guys are so easy. It's a computer. Come on. Maybe it's somebody pretending to be a bot that's learning. <laughs> Think about that. AI. Could be. Anything. It could be anything. Could be a bot. It could be not a bot. And Dork Cakes is yelling, ain't it great? I have no idea. Okay. It's great. Keep up. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just... And I'm just reading. I'm not trying to make sense of this world. I'm just reading it. <laughs> I, I leave all the decisions to the adults. And then I just do what I can get away with without having to be an adult. Because being an adult is about as exciting as watching paint dry. There you go. Let's go. Uh... Let's OD that, shall we? And see what that means. OD? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that word thing. He's going to define a word on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Yes, indeed. Vin Vinicus. Vinicus. Dot U D A dot. A mental retard who is clueless not only about, in brackets, current events but also has the IQ level of a rock. <laughs> Dolt may be the most sophisticated insult in the English language. And then not it goes a good on. Dolts commonly populate, and then it stopped. <laughs> <Dolt's common. laughs> well then, <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know. I'm well, fucking goes around on, on the dork table. Don't. Don't and well goes, then he takes me way too seriously. Because he goes on to say adults commun commonly populate such stereotypes as jocks, nerds, fruits, bookworms, and dorks. <laughs> <laughs> A person who is stupid and entirely tedious at the same time. Many times they are lost, oblivious to their own mental incapacity. Uh may are considered the company dolts. Yeah. Because they screw up every everything they touch. That's another type of dope. Well, just look around the room that you're in, and if you see a dolt, it's not you. There you go. I have spoken once again on the Dork Table podcast. So, be dolt. healed, he then scum. Be healed. There you go. Dolts are not necessarily well. stupid people, mm -hmm. but engage stupid actions or make stupid comments. Like, Others around would define their action as dumb, spaced uh, out, uneducated. Dolts of, often speak too soon, and their stupid actions are often preventable. Wow. Someone open the door, the front door to their house with their car key is a dolt. Never do that. Wow. Our adults are. No, but my cult okay. is not gaining any membership. I'm feeling okay. rather sad. Rational thought. No, I'm not going to use rational thought. I'm going to use emotion to deal with no. my... Yeah, no, I wanted a cult. I want to be a cult leader and lead the cult to the place where cult leaders lead you to, <laughs> wherever that is. But unfortunately, I only got three other members in my cult. It's kind of stagnating, just hanging in there at three. Would you paint your uh, the inside of your car, the interior red? There, a racing. Well, it's I don't paint. Know they, yeah, I don't know. It's stupid. paint the inside of their car. I remember when the inside was made out of metal. <laughs> Never mind. Now it's so, all made out of plastic. 
Yeah, nasty. Would you say being adult is a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it would depend on who I'm calling a adult, and I would re probably go with not positive. It's a negative connotation thing. Adult a dork? No. Or a nah. Grimner Grimner's posting a opinion. That's what I think. Cause. Does, you might not understand what I'm about to tell you right now, Vincent. You better sit down and grab yourself a cigarette. <laughs> this is oh, going to hurt. Right. The yeah, language yeah, that we share, that we use every day, that communicate, has been bastardized. Yeah, I know. Are you in shock or what? Sick. Sick, I tell you. Very sick. Words have been replaced with other words, but we're not told that. <laughs> we're lied to about it. But the language... No, nah, Mary's done a lot of research into the spelling thing, too, and found out, whoa. Because there's different opinions held depending on what you read. <laughs> what is the opinion? Opinions and, well, but see, to me, that's all everything is. It's just somebody's opinion. I don't... They say, well, I can prove this and I can prove that. And then they show me their proof and I'm just as lost looking at the proof as I was before I saw it. So therefore, they showed me nothing. <laughs> There's no proof there. So it's a yeah. matter of the person that looks on, right? And some people don't want to be laughed at. So they agree with things to not be a uh, laughing stock of a group. I could prove something. You could set up a, a camera and walk away, cut a tree partially about ready to fall down, and then just like need a wind to come along and then walk away and then come back after the tree has fallen, proving that what? What did I say about trees in the forest in the one? <laughs> did they make a sound if nobody's there to hear it? Not videotape it. <laughs> you're it you're taking it way out of context. Am I? Yeah, to suit your own evil that. purposes there, Mr. Wordsmith. It's that that trees do make a sound when they fall in a forest. Well, no, the saying is, if does a tree make a sound if there's nobody there to hear it? Of course not. Of course That's it does. Part. To who? <laughs> Doesn't it? See, it's you're, not you're, it. You can't centralize yourself. What is the rest of uh, that which is around it? it but we don't like, care about any of that. That's just a bunch of shit. Ah, come on. Don't take all that so seriously. You could feel it in the ground if you were laying there. If you were deaf, it would still make a sound. Even Maybe. If you're deaf. How do you know? Yeah. How do you prove it? I just did. How? By telling me something. Physically prove something. It's all bullshit and double talk anyway. Don't matter. <laughs> be on any side you want, Vinny. I don't give a shit. I'm on the tree side. I'm going to hug it and keep it from falling down for as long as I can. Oh, yeah. We've got small birch trees on the property here at the Flashco Estate. You know that uh, you can uh, tap them. a lot of uh, fluid, but you can make a, a syrup out of it from birch. Well, yeah, and uh, there's a fungus that grows on it. To, oh yeah, that's yeah. I forget good. what it's called. The older trees have it up at the top. It it turns the, uh, the bark carrot. brown, I believe. Mm. Now you can do a Google. You're a Google guy. Last time I got you on the uh, <laughs> on the Greyhound bus, you're doing it. You're doing research on it through the whole show. <laughs> it was hysterical. Anyway, good. Well, ah. Uh, we do this stuff, maybe we'll run into something. I was glad to give you a chance to bring up Bundy. And it was good to get it, you know, straightened out about you know how what? you feel about it. But, you know, you know, it doesn't change how the public sees it. That's sad. Well, uh, That's a mess. Some people have been at least uh, influenced or, or at least provided maybe a, another site to... Uh, to the actuality I, i've you know and people that were conveying this uh, message and ideology that uh was presented as mainstream media you know that clap stuff yeah well uh, yeah. i called them out i said i captured them right I had them where they could uh -huh. get away from me right there in the elevator i told them a few things 
Well, yeah, I don't doubt it. That's what I mean. You're more willing to go out into the public eye than I am. I'm not. I don't mind doing radio. That's fun. I can get a giggle out of this. Tell a story. Tell a joke. My opinion about how something is or isn't. Blah, 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 blah. Whoopity, fucking doopy. <laughs> yeah, our tune Canadian. There's it's some what? things and four twenty somewhere. Yeah, we got bless it. your heart. And well, then why choose a side? There's some. There's some right. things in life you don't. You don't choose the side. You're already on the side. It's chosen for you. I like, uh, for example, me and Cirque are anarchist-minded people. We believe in do no harm, and you know, don't be a thorn in the freaking vein of society it's gonna bleed so we get along there you go but on paper there's no such thing as an anarchist <laughs> that would that would be insane what are you signing you're wait a minute you're not for rulers but you're gonna sign a paper so that you could support something what the fuck does that even mean that no. that's so far rulers from anarchy it's practical. insane that's the word I used yesterday, practicable. But rulers are not okay, practical. No, but rules are they're universal amongst living organisms. I think. I don't have to warn people to duck when I walk by them in the street here, you know. We just pass each other by like people do. <laughs> normal normal. Well listen, my friend. I'm fixing to abandon you. Uh oh. Ducking oh. out early off the dork table, huh? I okay. am. I well. hear I hear the call of the biscuit. Oh man, well don't yeah, don't pass up something good to eat. That would be crazy, oh. Mr. Eater Guy. Thanks a lot for jumping in on the dork table and uh setting me straight on my opinion about Bunkerville. No, what did I search? I did search. No, well, you, you just you see the I see the lack of murder by the government as a a win for the people. They have, they have murdered people. They've well, got them. Oh, here we go. I know. I, I, I see. You won't one sentence at a time, Vinny. You're working ahead of me here. Go ahead. But yeah, what I'm saying is. What could have been potentially hell was cut off at the knees. It didn't get that freaking far. And for okay. the government that killed every fucking buddy before that to that point to stop and not shoot makes me think the government would, if it had, it would have been in the wrong and it, they would have been <laughs> exposed. So they chose to stand down. There's a win for the people right there. The murderer well, didn't kill. <laughs> the fuck don't you understand? I know they killed the kid later on that road in the snow and all that. Now, I'm talking about at the bridge when everybody was freaking armed to the nipples. That That's what I'm talking about. You know that uh, Todd Engel, he walked out. On, he got there and walked out on the bridge. for I think he was there a total of 45 minutes. They got him walked up, uh, I think, what, how many more? Another eight years or something like that? Yeah. You know, uh, they killed him a little bit. You know, we're all being killed a little bit at a time. Lighting a cigarette. That's dying a little bit at a time there. Well, maybe you make maybe you think I'm playing it down and I'm I'm not explaining it to you somehow. You're not catching how I see that the government I, lost this because they didn't kill anybody on fucking live camera and they have to defend it for five or ten years. Well listen, let me try to explain it like this. You know, you've heard this, uh, you may uh, lose the battle, but not the war. Yeah, See, the war yeah, can, yeah. This, yeah. this battle, uh, it was called the Battle of Bunkerville. I mean, that was what was coined yeah. early on. So they're not done. They are, they're right. still harming people. Greg Burleson, uh, you know, he's, he's there for the rest of his life. That's why I still bring it up and give you a platform to get a few more people out there to know about it. But, you know, it's me, Vinny. I know the details. And sometimes you just, you know, I bring something up for a comment and you, you whoosh. <laughs> You're hard to reel in when I lose you. 
Well, I don't think that uh, you lost me, but maybe I lose you. It's a tough. No, no, no. The difference between being somewhere and like in this situation, you're from there. You were there. Mine, not so much. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm going off my opinion about how I interpret what you tell me. And it's not the way you tell me because my my experience is so limited in that violent kind of shit. I don't know anything about it. See the just, broad scope. What I'm trying to talk about. This is some of the lessons in, in following that narrow pathway uh, so well exampled by, by Hal Anthony. Yeah. We all about Hal Anthony behind the woodshed Sundays right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. left coast. Come along and get the notice and the news and uh, learn to uh, traverse this world where the danger does not befall you in the occupation that we live in. Yeah, because yeah. if you're going to play in that paper world, you need to know how they speak. And they don't speak like we do. It's a different you talk, world. They don't, you don't engage the uh, that uh, financial. So they have nothing to come after. But they are going for those producers in the world that, um, that, are, that create wealth. So they counterfeit wealth by paper... And then they, uh, they throw so much of it against you that you run out of your paper to fight back. And, and they go in and, uh, you know, over time, take you out. Mm. Oh, okay. I see my experience in life is more on the positive than the negative. So I don't have a lot of understanding from experience. It's just I'm listening to you tell me about something. And then I got to judge it by whatever I can find that's close to what that means to me. And I'm just not violent. So I really don't think I have a, a good understanding of what you tell me happened. When Does I, that make when sense? I, yeah, let, let me see if I can example it. When, uh, when I stood up there after they uh, Dan Love, uh, dirty, dirty Dan, he says the uh, Give us 30 minutes and we'll pack up and leave. I got up there and I, saw, uh, and I watched them as they were leaving car after car after car. And I, I left off count at about 185 vehicles. So how many people were in it? They, they claimed that there was 200 armed uh, federales there. And their way may have been, you know, just More. that. Plus the other accompanying people, these uh uh, extra, whatever you might call them, experts in um, their certain field. But they laid up there the night before after Sheriff Gillespie come out and said that they're packing up and leaving. And uh, But they instead they embedded and instilled fear upon their employees saying that they were going to be under attack. And then they came the next day and tried to provoke attack. They, there's definite violence there. They perpetuated it. Uh, Judge Navarro even said how egregious it all was between the prosecution and the investigative team. They colluded. They they could uh, they conspired, and therein lies the evil. And this is what we're fighting. And then people try to go in and um, resist through different means and channels. And then uh, next thing you know, something you said, and hey, you're in prison for the rest of your life. Greg Burleson. Uh, even just happened to, to walk off that narrow path and get in, in uh, a Todd Engel, you know, walks out on a bridge for 45 minutes. What the? Oh. I don't know. See, that's what I mean is I'm not involved in that sort of stuff. Couldn't even imagine it. So th if i out there, but well, Vince, you know, I'm trying to make a point to you about the way this is seen by people like me. There's got to be people like me that, can look at it, but don't have anything to compare it to in reality. So don't really understand what you're saying totally. Just get right, some so of the that. points. Yeah, and, and you've seen that movie, and nobody's answered what the movie is. It, but uh, the guy says, "Don't eat your cornbread." Yeah, it's not cool, man. Keep your hands off my. <laughs> oh yeah, the prison movie things. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But see, that, that's what I mean. That's that's the way the world is represented to us, right? In entertainment, we see all this shit, 
and then you live and you live amongst people and if the people that you live amongst treat you like the movies you're watching chances are you're doing something wrong that's yeah, what i'm trying to say and i'm not i'm not yeah, real good with all this questions. that's fine well, I'm not real good with all this joining and being a part of shit. I like being the outside guy. I know my ground that way. I like this. But if you're part of a crowd or part of a group, then nah, uh, it's not for me. I don't want to make the thing bigger. <laughs> oh, somebody was, uh, I went to the bar for a beer today. And uh, the guy that uh, goes to America, ah, my American friend. And I said, no, nah, I'm not American anymore. I quit. <laughs> I quit America. That's it. Oh, uh, you're missing all the fun. Hey, yeah, I'm going to go. What? My biscuit. I'm, you, well, I'm let go, down. big baby. Quit flash. Um, hey, yeah. thanks a lot for dork table in this week with me, Vinny. We'll, uh, we'll consider the occupation uh, in contrast to Tuesday, then, eh? Mm-hmm. And you're right. You're sicker than me, because it would take a sick I, mind to to want to do the shit you do. Just crazy. saying. No, you can't stay and leave at the same time. Do one. <laughs> I'm doing two things in many and pop. Oh. Hey, thanks everybody, uh, and uh, I see you more later. Okay. Okay. Yo. And I don't know what, I'm going to read the chat, and I don't know what the Dutch Authorita has to do with Freetown. Uh, Freetown's in Denmark, and the Dutch are in the Netherlands. That's beyond Germany, so that's a little ways from here. Anyway, yeah, and Vinny, Vinny came on to Dork Table with me, and uh, I, we did the show today called I'm Not Sick, You're Sick. So I rubbed Vinny's uh, Bundy Bone. I guess got him all yakky about um, the Bundy days because he he was there, and he feels way differently about it than me because he was there and I wasn't. And when he explains that, there's no way to tell him, Vinny, I wasn't there. I don't. I'll never in a hundred years understand what you're trying to explain to me so hard because you're you're telling me about something you feel not something that you saw or thought this is different and eh, we keep trying and at least he gets some attention to this Bundy thing because uh, the law oh man if the law has been manipulated to the point it's at now to do the horrible shit it's done so far and the Noahide laws are coming on the books yeah this better happen soon or there won't be any turning back the government will just slowly gobble everything up. I think it will anyway. They'll probably just outweigh Bundy. Another 20 years, another 40 years. And the government's thing. Who cares? These people want control. Uh. Oh, yeah. Something about Christiania. Yeah, yeah. I know. Freetown. There's no bikers in Freetown. They don't. No, they don't run it. It's not like that. But I spent a lot of time in Freetown. I really enjoyed that. And there's a lot of makeshift um, buildings and half done this and half done that. People just do whatever they feel like doing. And it's maintained in a clean, nice way. You can get around and there's not trash everywhere. None of that. No, no, no. People are responsible for their self. And they're a bunch of potheads, too. They get this one area... In particular, a lot of restaurants, and you can get burgers, and backgammon boards, and chess boards, and get out here at these tables and smoke with whoever's sitting there. And a lot of the time, you know, these people all know each other anyway, but they get a few outsiders in Freetown. I might not go back for a while still. I haven't decided yet. I, just, I think I'm going to just stay... I'm going to stay with what I know and settle for a little comfort instead of the bustle and the hustle of the city life. Did all that stuff. Don't want to do it again. Mm. I wonder if that proves I'm not sick, you're sick. Maybe to other people, I'm the one that's sick. 
because uh, my lack of interest in being controlled, that's probably what it boils down to. I mean, damn, even my, my wife, I don't know who, oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary was making a, a little giggle about me on her show, the last show I listened to that she did, I think it was yesterday then, and, and uh, about about me being told what to do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that happens all the time. Because I've told people, I do everything I'm told to do, and only a couple of things I'm told not to do. And sometimes the timing's just not right. But I'll get around to it eventually. Let's see. I rubbed Vinny's Bundy Bone. I got quoted on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Yeah, it does sound kind of gay, but if you know, you know, if you know about it, then you know about it. If you don't, then you don't. And besides, what the fuck? <laughs> it sounds gay. I don't give a shit if it sounds gay. It was funny. I thought it was funny, frumpy. <laughs> That's my opinion. Maybe I'm not sick. You're sick. <laughs> I know all that liberal shit. Something that sounds gay just does, if that's the way you heard it. <laughs> but but what, uh, what I was thinking about, because he took the time to quote it just to make everybody, you know, get it clear through their gay thoughts, is Vinny is real close to that Bundy thing in ways that we're not, because we didn't go. And that changes everything. Just like my talking about Denmark or being happy in a place so far away from where I'm from and all that crap and being comfortable about it. I don't know. Maybe it's not as rare as I think, but I've yet to run any to run into anybody else that does what I'm doing. Go to a foreign country <laughs> and never bother to learn to speak the native tongue and still be accepted amongst the locals regardless of that uh, behavior because it could be looked at in however many ways you want to see it some people but of course you also have to weigh into the the equation would be uh, my lack of interaction with the Danish government kind of gives me that relief because these people know somebody owns my paperwork, but I'm not Danish. So they know the Americans own my paperwork. Therefore, I'm on a list of countries that Denmark's good with, that I'm on the good side of it. And fortunately, some of the people that I associate with have been to America and had decent vacations out there. And we don't discuss the politics of America. Fuck that. Politics suck. I don't care where you live or who you are or what you call what you got. It's all bullshit. Thank you, Rob Works. But, anyway. That, too. That's also a matter of how you interpret this nonsense that we're surrounded by. And if you consider it to be anything beside, I uh, Grimner calls it entertainment. I'm I'm leaning towards nonsense. The stories don't make sense, and every uh, every time you turn around, somebody's exposing some great big thing like the Assange guy. I remember they just uh, just the other day they the Americans arrested him. Whatever. Eh. Now he's instead of being in some. Uh, embassy in London. Now he's in a prison in America, I suppose. Uh, but if he already did all this stuff, and at the end he was threatening to unleash the monster of all monsters, and here we are a week later, nothing's changed. This guy's still in custody. What did he ever do in the first place except make himself a target to be put in jail over paperwork? that nobody really seems to give a flying shit about because the problems that we have are only getting worse. They're not improving. <laughs> the, 
Not my opinion. Maybe I'm Mr. Class or I'm not reading enough of the chat. But I think the world is going to hell in a bucket. <laughs> well, maybe not the world, but some of it. Like those French people that have you know, just recently lost their good church, that Notre dame That's done. And me and my sister-in-law were agreeing about a side of that. And the other two were talking about something completely different about the fire. <laughs> and what, what it was is the original materials that place was created from have been destroyed. Period. They can't be replaced because that's not going to ever work. It's not going to be the same building. And it would be a replacement of what was originally there. <laughs> Therefore, it's gone. And we saw that the same exact fucking way at the same exact time. And Mickle and Cirque were talking about something else. And I, I got I took off after that. But just a, it's interesting to me that I'm not the only one that sees these hmm, global incidents as, ah, there's more to this than they're telling us. And there you have it, folks. Even in Denmark, even in um, being married, I find my sister-in-law actually knows, you know, yeah, I see that too. I went, wow. Because to understand some of the things I say is beyond, it's beyond a lot of people's ability. They're in a completely different layer of reality. And what they're looking for is not what I got. No, no, they're looking to control what I got. That's and what Rob and Grim and Moose and and well then who else is hanging around? Frumpy, people in the chat room that know what I'm talking about. They just want to control every fucking thing, whether it moves, whether it doesn't move, whether it's green or purple or blue. They want control of all of it. Will they get it, or maybe they already got enough control of us as we are that it doesn't matter anymore what they do. Maybe we're, we've been pushed as far as we can be pushed. I would wonder, what is going on in this political machine? They're going to make laws so that you can't question or insult the Jews. Now, so far, they've been playing off that shit for a long time. But how much worse could it possibly get? I mean, damn. I'm not looking forward to, uh, hmm, what would you call that? The, uh, well, I'm looking forward to waking up. But the reality of what's coming my way in, in the physical world by way of government, Nah, that can wait. Put that on a... Put it... And he says, my bucket has a hole in it. <laughs> put my share of all this crap in a bucket and give it back. <laughs> Let them play with it for a while. They've been playing with me my whole freaking life on paper. And when I find out about it, you know, damn, there's nothing I could do by then. I was already dead. <laughs> you know what I found out? That on paper, you're lost at sea at seven years of age but until you're seven you have the ability to declare that you're not dead <laughs> after that poof can't do it no more and however you explain this legal beagle jiggle shit to me it's all crap i mean just because they got me by the short hairs just because i've played their little games doesn't mean that I'm a, a, a devout follower of the state. <laughs> All that means is there's some things that uh, even crazy people know that it's not okay to do it that way. So, because I've been accused of all kinds of behaviors and drug addiction and <laughs> you name it. <laughs> I've been called a gaslighter, and I still, they've explained it to me four times. I'm still not sure what a gaslighter is. <laughs> but I don't think I sway anybody's opinion about 
nothing. Fuck. If you share my opinion, you're the you're the guy that's sitting by yourself a lot because other people don't get it. The most of the people that I, I encounter in life in verbal explanation <laughs> were many, many light years down the road from me on personal responsibility. You know, they looked at personal responsibility in terms of uh, things like where you work, where you went to school, uh, all that status y kind of <laughs> shit. <laughs> the government took control of of student debt. <laughs> how how much is student debt? It's like I forgot. I think it was like a trillion. It was some unbelievable astronomical. You can't pay the interest on this debt debt thing. <laughs> we talk about this. See, it's a, to me, it's a complete fantasy, but. If you're living in it, you have a loan, and you've done all this signing and begging and done. Uh, please, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, then they <laughs> think they own you. You are a possession, and you will be treated. Ah, there you go, Grumner. And but you'll be treated accordingly, <laughs> as we all are. <laughs> it's it's no different for me than it is for you. I just. I'm aware of it, and I laugh it off because, you know, whether they do it or not, it's worse if you don't know what they're truly doing. If you're caught in this, the the Republican-Democrat trap, or the, the jew talhead Arab crap, or whatever, black and white, all these separations that they make for us. <laughs> then they make new separations so that people that get over this separation can find a new shit separation to join so they can stay outside of solving the problem. <laughs> and the problem is so easily solved. And oh, Goober always says, Oh, you never offer a solution. And I, I just won't type it. I'm tired of typing it. But the three-step plan to unfuck the world is so simple stop lying stop killing people and grow hemp like you know what you're doing the rest of it falls into place just because it would uh, i treat life in that respect like i treat my wife if i lie to my wife guess what hey there's not a good thing to be doing to your wife well if you you know if you're just going to limit yourself to telling the truth to your wife, well, you're still a lying sack of shit in the end anyway. So, uh, why not just treat everybody that way? And if somebody asks you something, tell them how you feel or how you don't or what you think and let it go. But no, you know what? It's a lot more uh, comfortable in life to be liked and go with the crowd and fit in and all <laughs> but no nah, i think i grew my hair out as a like a, a a way to let people know before i even speak to them <laughs> i'm not your nine to five johnny wombat this ain't happening and i think it works it's universal it works everywhere i ever go and uh hmm <clears throat> On the positive side of that, I draw my own type of people. And you can't judge that by appearance on their end because they come in all varieties. Long hair, short hair, tall, small, blah, blah, blah. All the different ways to look at people. And they all <laughs> fall into different groups. It's, But the thing they got in common is me. To me, not to them, but... I see that when I come around, they might say something, blah, blah, blah. And other people don't. So I leave them the fuck alone and don't bother them. I bother the people that show me uh, the attention so I know if it, what to do with myself in public. Now, some folk like to light their self on fire and run through the bar for a good laugh. Now, me, not so much. <laughs> Just open the door, go in and sit down somewhere. It's not a big production. Like uh, the Rolling Stones going to Freetown. 
<laughs> the Rolling Stones going to Freetown. What a fraud that must have been. The Stones. You know, they knighted that damn Mick Jagger. <laughs> Keith lives in Connecticut. <laughs> Keith. And he's older than dirt. He's so old. I don't. I think he's still smoking cigarettes. Maybe drinking a little bit. But he's pretty much looks like he's cleaned up everything. And, and he's going to live longer than me. And he's already like 75. <laughs> he, But he's got a younger wife and kids older than me, I think. Well, maybe not older than me. That might be an exaggeration. But, you know, we got to consider what kind of world we're going to leave Keith Richards, people. This ain't over. This is getting started. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. <laughs> I got a few more miles left in me. But uh, sadly, the only contribution I got left to make to the society is to let them know what I think about the mess the people they voted into power made of it. I don't defend one person holding a seat of decision at any level of government Anywhere I've ever been, these people are all lying thieves. They want something. They don't want to give you something. So, when we have a government that runs on its own, that doesn't charge us to use it, then maybe I'll believe in a government. Anyway, that's going to wrap up a dork table. I'm going to split a little early, being as Vinny dumped me. And say thanks to everybody that hung out today at the reallibertymedia.com and gave me and Vinny a chance to vent and argue our particular points of view on the Bundy situation because he loves to talk about that. So, anyway, we got coming up on the schedule for tomorrow. We have Grimner comes on in the morning with the blues. Playing some trivia in the afternoon until Helen Anthony at 3 o'clock on the West Coast comes on from behind the woodshed. And then Monday night, 7 o'clock on the East Coast, we've got Grimner with Grim Leftovers. On Tuesday, I do sometimes have a hostage and sometimes not on In a Perfect World. Me and Vinny started that one. And that's at 1 o'clock on Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Friday, but we'll say Wednesday, Grammy Mary is 7 o'clock doing her Rocket Chair podcast. And uh, Thursday, I come back with my own personal thing called 20% off, and I've been doing a <laughs> rants on the control games. And this week, I think I've hit part 6 if I don't end it this last time. We'll see what happens. And then uh, Friday, where Vinny will be on at 1 o'clock with a rerun of an old podcast he's done in the past. At 1 o'clock on the uh, East Coast on Friday afternoon. And before, that's Mary, uh, Mary Night. Yeah, I didn't do the Friday yet. And then uh, 7 o'clock, Graham Z in the rocket chair. And at 11 o'clock, Grimner and Moose Girl on Freaker's Ball. And there you go, folks. So I'm going to sign off and get Grimner some notes. Thanks a lot for hanging in the dork table this week. And see you guys next time. Bye.